This is math lesson 1.3 and it's on page 25. So the story problem is we have two red crayons, we have three yellow crayons. How many crayons do we have in all? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it says to use counters or an eye tool. The easiest thing is just to take your pencil or you can even use your crayon and use red like I am. Two red crayons. Now I don't have yellow, but I have green. So I'll do three green, three yellow. We'll pretend that that's yellow. All right, I have two, one, two red, one, two, three yellow, two red plus three yellow equals how many all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Now you remember in the last lessons, we talked about how this is a plus sign, this is an equal sign, the whole thing is an addition sentence, and what's the answer called? Do you remember what that answer is called? It's called a sum. The sum is the answer. Okay, so what is our sum? There are how many crayons all together? Five. Turn the page. Add to find out how many books there are. There are two small books and one big book. How many books are there? So I have two small, one big, and see they drew circles for them. Two small, one big. I have to put my plus and equal sign in. What is my sum? Two plus one. Let's count. One, two, three. Put a three on the line. Three books. There are four red pencils and two green pencils. Now I'm going to underline this so I remember what I'm going to do. Four red pencils and two green pencils. How many pencils are there? So the first number is four, four, and you can draw little circles, one, two, three, four, plus two green, one, two, equals. What does four plus two equal? What is the sum? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many pencils are there? six pencils. In a word problem, you always have to come back, you do the addition sentence, and then come back and give it an answer with a label. Number two, there are five blue cups and three yellow cups. How many cups are there? Five blue, one, two, three, four, five, plus three yellow, one, equals. How many are there? Let's count. Ready? I hope you're counting with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. The sum is eight. So how many cups are there? Eight cups. Now what I want you to do, the next page, you are supposed to do this page on your own. Three, four, and five. Six is, I think, smarter. So I want you to pause the video, do three, four, and five, and six if you can, and then come back and we'll go over it. Okay. okay, now, you should have done these on your own, right? There are three small cats and four big cats. Three small cats, four big cats. How many cats are there? So three plus four equals, and you can draw your circles, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. How many are there? You should have said seven. Raise both hands up in the air if you've got seven. Seven cats. Did you remember to come back here and do the answer on this side? There are six red cubes and three blue cubes. How many cubes are there? You should have had six plus three equals, and you could draw them in. You should have counted them. I'm not going to count them for you. You should have done this. Six plus three equals nine. Did you 
get that answer? Nine cubes. Number five, there are two red flowers and eight yellow flowers. How many flowers are there? Two plus eight equals, and you can draw your circles. What was your sum? Two plus eight equals 10. 10 flowers. How many of you got three, four, and five? All correct. I hope everybody did. Okay, now the think smarter. These are always a little trickier, but you guys are smart. You can do it. Four girls and four boys run. Then two more children come. The same number of girls and boys run. How many girls and boys run? Well, if we have four girls and four boys, and then we have two more that come, we're going to put one in each category. So four plus one and four plus one. What's four plus one? Four plus one more is five. So five girls and five boys. Did anyone get that one correct? Okay, last page. Write your own addition story problem. Then we're going to solve it to show our work. We're gonna make this pretty easy. Let's see. Let's say that there are, um, Let's say there are four balls, four balls, two more roll over, oh whoops, not spelling all right, roll over. How many do we have all together? So let's see, I had four plus two equals. I can draw, count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if I'm going too fast for you, you can pause. Six, six all together. Four plus two equals six. At the bottom, it's another Think Smarter. There are four yellow apples and four red apples. How many apples are there? And that's called a double. When the two numbers you're adding together are the same number, that's called a double. So four plus four. Let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The sum is eight, eight. Very good job. Now remember, you have extra work you can do in that extra packet, okay, if you want more practice. Bye.